not a very good book. It's it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's not. I, like... I, I, I just read the first line of his Wikipedia page. Ernest Christie Klein uh, is an American novelist, slam poet, and screenwriter. <laughs> slam poet. He he's also what? On... <laughs> my vagina is <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> You should also add a uh, name dropper to that yeah. list because like the reference, there's references, right? Like we reference things all the time. Sure. And there's, there's just rattling off shit from the eighties, right? <laughs> like I, I'm going to read you a section of, of, um, of, of the book. Now this is Wade <laughs> descri- describing how much he loves not, not Steve Jobs, right? Because not Steve Jobs was a big nerd and he grew up in the 80s. Wait, and what he year, loved what everything. year is this? This takes place in 2050. That is would be he, like us. That motherfucker is. That would be like, yeah, he's. 70. What, how old is he? Who? Not Steve Wozniak? Not he's Steve. dead. No, he's dead, but when, how, old, how old was he when he died? So what did he, was born? That would be like us, I guess? That would be, yeah. Or like the, set, the like it would late be, 70s? For, for if we were to do the parallels, it'd be like Mark Zuckerberg. If Mark Zuckerberg grew up in like the 50s. Yeah. Oh, because wow. there's a huge gap of right, time between tw- the 80s and 2050. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. It's yeah, like that doesn't make 70 any- years. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, I so don't idolize was, anything from so 70 how years old ago. Did he, how old was he when he died? If he uh, was, like, if, if he was like in his 80s or 90s, okay, that's fine. They don't get into it. He was sick. Whatever. <laughs> what, whatever. I mean, you're talking about a you're talking about a book that has like uh, naming conventions for items to get you out of situations because he can't think of a way to get you out of it. Like he'll put on the ring of teleportation and the cloak of plot convenience. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not it's it's not a very well written. Oh yeah, by the way, I just happen to have this that I got forty years ago or whatever. You know what I mean? Like. You didn't introduce that. You just made that shit up. Like, you're making this shit up as you go along. Yeah. And you're doing a bunch of name dropping. So here's Wade, <laughs> right? Here's Wade. And Wade is describing, he's describing how much he studied on Not Steve Jobs and everything about him, right? I watched every episode of The Greatest of the greatest American Hero, Wow. Airwolf, A-Team, Knight Rider, Misfits of Science, and The Muppet Show. What about The Simpsons, you ask? I knew more about Springfield than my own city. Star Trek? Oh, I did my homework. TOS, TNG, DS9, even Voyager and Enterprise. I watched them all in chronological order. I gave myself a crash for. course. <laughs> I gave myself a crash course in 80 Saturday morning cartoons. I learned the name of every last goddamn robot and transformer, Land of the Lost, Thunder the Barbarian, He-Man, Schoolhouse Rock, G.I. Joe. I knew them all because knowing is half the battle. Fuck you, yo. <laughs> like, wow, it's just like, like and it's, and that's peppered throughout the whole book. You're watching the Nerdpocalypse YouTube channel. Make sure you click that button to subscribe and check out our weekly podcast where we talk about movie, TV, news, tech, and weird stories from around the internet.